Hello my friends, how is everyone doing today? This is Sherry. Welcome to my craft room. I'm here today to start a new project. So I'm working on a couple of uh, uh, garden journals which you will see in my upcoming videos. But meanwhile, it's March and I wanted to make an Easter journal. A uh, spring Easter garden could all be uh, encapsulated into this Peter Rabbit book. So this is one and oh, this looks like it looks old. Let me see what the date is on right here. Uh, sometimes they look old, they're not as old as they look. Sometimes they're older than they look. Let's see what we have as a date. Copyright 1970. So this is 1970. So it's got some age on it, but uh, vintage. And I haven't even uh, I haven't wiped it down or anything either. I just am noticing it looks kind of. Like it could be a little cleaner type of thing. So I, yeah, I pulled out this book. It's got its pages. And the golden spine is pretty much silver now. And it's coming off. And uh, let me just wipe this down real quick. And we're going to start working on this as a journal. And I kind of wasn't sure when I was getting these things out what kind of spine I wanted to do but I pulled out some fabric that would be really cute on the spine because yeah I don't want to wipe too much because I don't want to wipe the, the paper right off of here but uh, if this has some flowers on it right here on the book I, there's a glare I know let me show you right here sunflowers and let's wipe the back down a little bit here. Yeah, usually when I bring books home, I just stick them right on the shelf. I don't wipe them down until I'm ready to use them. I don't clean them until I'm ready to use them or put them in my, if I happen to put a book in my uh, shop, I will clean it at that time too before I list it type of thing. So it's ready to go if someone buys it. Okay, I don't want to take any more color or any color off of here. So let's just leave it at that. So, uh, yes, I will, uh, this is in good shape as you can see, no writing or anything here. The pages are browning or some people say yellowing, either or I guess is proper. And then this one, also the back cover is perfect, except, uh, I mean, you, usually I don't cover it if it's perfect, but sometimes I do if I just have a really pretty paper, it's just fun and and. I think more interesting to put a pretty piece of paper there. If it were the old yellow uh, or maybe even the pink, have you seen the pink when they have the pink in here, like pink and red? I like that. I wouldn't cover that up. Or that old yellow uh, inside cover that they have when in the older books. I wouldn't cover. I would never cover that up unless it was just all written on or something. But I will use all the pages in here that they're not written on, they're not torn nothing they're perfect except for the browning so uh, but I did pull out this uh, scrapbook paper here that I recently got on sale at echopark.com and I've been talking about you know whenever I use this that I've gotten all my paper that I show you from Echo Park on a really super sale warehouse sale they call it so uh, let's see what's in here I haven't shown you this yet in any of my Thrifty Thursdays because uh, I showed you some of the scrapbook paper, but I haven't shown you all of it. So I'm just showing it to you when I use it at, uh, pretty much at this point. So I keep this to put everything back in because I never I never use it all in once one journal. So here's this piece of paper that I can use uh, in my junky junk journals because this is normally trash. But for now, I'm going to keep it with my paper here. Uh, so here it is. This is a double-sided paper. The Echo Park paper is always double-sided. So we've got Easter eggs and the gingham here. I'm just going to pick out three. It's really, um, it can be random, really. Uh, I'm going to pull this out because I'm going to want to use some of these and in different ways. So those are the journaling cards. Let me, sorry, I'm kind of going a little bit too quick for, for you probably. Let me show you that a little bit better. And on the back is this pretty pastel little kind of starbursts. 
in the middle of the starburst there's little it looks like black dots with the white background and then here's the journaling cards so cute hippity hoppity easter's on its way so adorable <laughs> i mean who doesn't love the bunny theme on easter and this is another uh i mean every one of these are going to be super cute right Chicks and bunnies and lambs, little Easter baskets and carrots and Easter eggs. And here's the back, all pastel -y. I'm going to put the paper over here. More journaling cards, which if you saw my recent videos where I use some of these, there's lots of different ways to use your the bigger journaling cards. Now these are all horizontal, so but very pretty. And you have the that pretty yellow on the back. Here's a plaid, a, like a pastel plaid. On the back we have pink with white dots. Very pretty. Oh, it's got papers going right here. I'm just going to choose three of these to put in here. The bunnies. Let's see, what was the first one? That was eggs. Okay, and here's bunnies and flowers. <laughs> On the back, oh, pink and white stripes. More cut-aparts. Chocolate Easter bunny. <laughs> on the back oh carrots so cute oh my goodness <laughs> okay flowers what am I feeling oh that's the book flowers oh this, this is flowers with bunnies like the same type of flowers here but this one has the bunnies this is just the flowers and we have green and white there very pretty and then these, here's Easter baskets with smaller flowers light lilac kind of color on the back there and then more cut aparts a lot of cut aparts in here aren't there cut aparts with uh green on the back kind of gardeny looking very cute all different shapes i like little squares and then there's like four by four squares and then all the different shapes up here more cut aparts Oh, little chicks, so cute with eggs and ch chicks and eggs and chicks out of their eggs. <laughs> so cute. I'm trying to see what they're all doing. <laughs> On the back, oh, the little bunnies. Look at the little bunnies. That's a pretty color, too. Very pretty. Oh, look at this one. Different colored bunnies. <laughs> that is so pretty. And the or kind of bright orangish on the back. And these are the stickers. They always have lots of stickers in there. You know, this one page has just seems like tons of stickers to me. I can never, I, you know, I will use them up at some point, but not in one journal, of course. I just, there's just so many. I do like that they have all different sizes too, like from the very tiny ones. Like, you know, well, here's a little separate tiny one. There's a separate little egg there. And the biggest one on here, uh, I don't know, it might be the truck and the little carrot mobile here. <laughs> so cute. Little like, tag looking one. A banner. They do put banners in them a lot. Here's like, these are all separate banners here. So, so cute, right? Okay, so um, cut of parts and stickers over there. Paper over here. So, this is the hard part. <laughs> This is the hardest part, picking out paper. I usually put three of these in each one. And, okay, let me show you the fabric. So if I do a fabric spine, I have it's the sunflowers, remember I showed you. This is a sunflower, I believe this is supposed to be a cloth napkin. It's huge, but this would be really cute on the spine. I probably would take that green part off and just use this on the spine. And, you know, a little spine. So I don't know because uh, the sunflowers are so big for one thing. But this is the first thing I pulled out. I'm going to look and see if I have any other sunflower fabric. And then decide, do I want to make a fab, you know, a new spine with fabric covered spine, you know, new spine. Or do I want to use, do I want to do, well, I kind of have to decide right now, don't I? Because we're going to cut some paper right now. But we're going to pick out three papers. By the time I pick out three papers, we're going to need to decide. 
uh, coil bound or new spine. <laughs> so I might have to go look at, I might have to pause and go look for another fabric and then I'll decide. Okay, so uh, let's see. Let me kind of like spread these out. I don't want to take too long deciding. I kind of just really want to randomly pick them out, but I also want to kind of choose beyond, between uh, kind of a not just so random that they're all the same, you know, like all floral or something. So this plaid one, I think that's very different. So I'm going to choose that one. There's a bunnies on the front, and I want it to be gardeny too. So I think I'm going to choose one. Of, see, there's like these three right here are very floral, and this is an all-over pattern. Let's choose. Uh, let's choose the bunnies with the floral. So this this will be two of them, and one more. So this one has bunnies. Uh, so we have, and this one has bunnies. So I'm going to leave that because we already have one with bunnies. So we have chicks, Easter baskets, another floral, which we already have a floral, so I'm going to eliminate that one. <laughs> and, uh, oh my goodness, well this one has bunnies on it, even though I love it, I think I'm going to eliminate it. This one has chicks, chicks are eggs. This one has flowers, so technically I can eliminate that one. It's I'm trying to not choose them all, right? <laughs> Uh, okay, chicks and eggs. Chicks and eggs. Uh, gosh, so hard. What's the other side look like? And this is... Okay, yeah, we definitely need some other colors besides these. Both have happen to have pink on the back. And these both have green on, greenish or whatever that color is on the back. Ah, oh, eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Should we do that? Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Bigger, how do you say <laughs> Hold on, I haven't done this in a while. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Pick a... Oh gosh, I don't even know it anymore. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do
is my it is at the bottom it fell to the bottom I need another one another little thing to hold my tool is tools in which I'm keeping my eyes out for um, to hold them more upright because this kind of lets everything fall too far to the side and then I can't see it and that like you saw that one just fell just fell right down into the bottom like this so it was hard to find but it's a nice stable box that sits on my table here that doesn't fall over. I had something else here that kept falling over because it was kind of like top heavy. So it has got to be tall enough. Uh, it's got to be the right size, <laughs> tall enough, but not too wide to let things fall over, but not too tall. So I think it's coming here. Get this out without cutting it. Then I might have a whole long ribbon here. Yes, here we go. We did it, and I can iron this if I need to. So look how long that is. Nice long ribbon. Could even use it in this journal. You never know. Okay, let's see what we have. There's the tag. I could put that in my junky junk journal. Basket right in back of me. Okay, so we have this one. This one would be good because it has little smaller sunflowers on it. So that's a possibility. Ooh, this one's cute. I don't know if the colors are right though. I usually do like this. Let's see, I try to put it how it will be. Let me open this up a little bit. I don't want to open it up too much, but see, I don't think that this is really cute. It says, uh, you can, when you can be anything, be kind. It has sunflowers on it, create your own sun, sunshine. You know, really cute, but. I don't know if the colors are quite right uh, for this journal. I really don't like that blue next to this color here, so I think that one's out. I got another sunflowery one. Let's see this one with the plaid. Um, let's see what that one would look like. That one would look pretty. That one would be really pretty. See how small the sunflowers are if I only cut off like, well, I would cut off um, more than it, it than I need to go over this front and the back covers too. So, so anyway, that one would work. That one's pretty. I like that one. Let's actually try this. I just automatically thought this one would work, but let's see. See, of course that one would be work. It's, it's pretty perfect <laughs> with these sunflowers here and this, this is just all sunflowers. So this one is probably number one right now. Let's see this one. This one has bikes with sunflower baskets. Uh, less color. I really like, still like that sunflower one. And you wouldn't see the bikes that much, would you? You see them a little bit, but I think still this one is number one. This one with all the sunflowers. And then this one has bigger sunflowers. But these sunflowers are, this is, yeah, they're about the same size as that other fabric that I had that I said the sunflowers were too big, but it has more of them on here. And that would be pretty too. But I still think the other one is more perfect. Just the best one right here. So I think I'm going to go with this one. Okay. And so that means we'll have signatures instead of just single pages like you do in a move all this fabric to the side now uh, in a wire bound so I won't work I'm not going to work on the spine during this video I just want to you know I want to pick out some papers and then next video we'll um, pick out some more papers and uh, we will we will uh, work on the cover but I just wanted to do uh, at least one Eastery spring journal before I continue with my garden journals or else you know Easter will be slip by and I won't have done an Easter journal and I got this paper so <laughs> I didn't want to wait till next year to use it that makes sense right yes it makes perfect sense okay so I'm just cutting off the branding strips now and then we can fold these in half and make pockets and things with these pages. One of these will probably be, you know what, I might need one more if I have like two signatures. 
because this is going to, if it's going to have a spine, it's going to have at least two signatures. And I like to put one page over the signature and then one page in the middle of the signature. So that means I need one more page because I'm going to have at least two signatures. So here's my strips. I'll save these. I might use, cut off at least this part here and use it in my strips that I sew together. Let's see if there's anything else. This, this little part right here says Welcome Easter, so I could use that uh, right there. And then if you turn it over, it says Welcome Easter on this side right there. So both ends I could use, so I'm going to save those. And then uh, these uh, 12 by 12 scrapbook papers are pretty perfect for a little golden books because you can fold them in half like this and, you know, six inches on each side. And then, so you see how they would both fit in here. Uh, actually, I'll need to cut a little bit off, probably, just a sliver. I haven't made my spine yet, so I can't exactly measure, but I can measure a little bit here just by this cover. And I would like to go ahead and make a page. I think I am going to cut off a sliver. I'm going to cut off a sliver so I can go ahead and, and do these three pages. Let me see if I can, I don't know, let me see if I can cut through two layers here and cut a little sliver off here. Okay, let me get this straight. Okay, I think that's straight. It's harder than you think to cut off a sliver because... Um, well, <laughs> it's uh, actually harder to see than if a lot is sticking out there. Oh, those are such pretty slivers. Uh, look at that. So pretty. Look at that. <laughs> this is such pretty paper. Okay, so then, see that's going to fit perfect now. It won't be out too far. And I'll have a little bit of leeway there if I want to put I wanted to put any trim on there it would be still room for that so uh, on something like this I like to I probably would like to cut up fold up this plaid over the pink for my pocket for our pocket here <clears throat> excuse me <clears throat> and that looks really pretty so hold on I need a drink just one second Okay, I have a soda here, but I needed to take a drink off camera and cough a little bit. <laughs> My throat was getting dry, I guess. But on the day I'm vid videoing this uh, this video, I uh, it is a very nice sunny day. It's not as warm as I would like it, though. It's getting up to only 58 today. <laughs> And yes, what was it? Yesterday was 68, I think. And one day last week was 71. So, yeah, those are more like my type of temperatures. <laughs> 70 and above was great. Or 68 was also great, especially if it's sunny. But uh, today it's a little, well, of course, it's better than 45, right? 58 is better than 45. But you can see I have a sweater on because it's cooler in the house. So anyway, there's one page. And I may, I might sew these pockets. I do like to, if I, you know, if I feel like it, which I kind of do, feel like it, um, sewing the cardstock pa uh, paper together on the pockets. I think that looks really nice. It's a nice and sturdy and... Uh, and the cardstock can take it, you know, or any paper can take, pretty much any paper can take it, unless it's disintegrating paper, but especially the cardstock. So these bunnies are upright like this. So what I would do on this type of page is fold this, this part up. Because if I fold it the other way, of course the bunny's going to be upside down, right? So let's measure with my first page. And do the same thing. We'll see how this turns out. And we'll have a good start to our little. And I, I want to get this done so I can get it in my shop. So uh, someone can get this for Easter. 
you might somebody might need it as a gift or for themselves to document their Easter you know memories so yeah I want to get this done plus plus I just want to uh, get it done because I wanted to make an Easter journal <laughs> so, okay so now I've got two of these strips this one's a little thinner but we will use this somewhere. Oh, and I usually do my little... I didn't do it in the other page, did I? Let me do that real quick, because I know... Oh, here it is. Um, I do like to uh, take out the bulk in the middle here. And I know most of you that watch my channel see me do this all the time, but if you're new, I like to cut a little triangle here. It takes out some bulk, and it's easier to get things in and out because this isn't... Uh, constricting your you know it's going to be open right here so you can get things in easier and out even though you're just going to sew down here it's still easier when this is sewn down to get things in, in and out with a little triangle cut out in the middle like that here I didn't cut my triangle quite perfectly let me get this little piece of paper that I left here let me do that there we go so yeah it'll look like that Okay, so there's that one, and then we'll do this one. And uh, we didn't cut off a sliver, did we? Let's cut off a sliver again. We'll have to cut a sliver off of all of these. And let's fold it in half. Cut off our sliver. And before I sew them, uh, I will make sure they are the right size, because once you sew them, and I have... I've done it before where I've sewn them and then they're too wide and then I have to cut, end up cutting off the sewing and re-sewing them, right? So <laughs> try to measure before you sew them and make sure they're not too wide. Okay, so another little triangle here. I do triangles in all these. And if you were to say you have a piece that you, uh, say you decide I'm not going to on this one, but just for instance, if you decide, you can always turn this around and it works both ways, you know, whichever way you decide to put it. So, so mine's going to go this way. That way we don't have upside down bunnies. I can always, and I have done, if I really wanted to, I, uh, if I really wanted this paper over there, I would cut it off and then turn it around until the bunnies were upright and reattach it over here with glue or sewing. So, you know. You can, uh, where there's a will, there's a way to make it do whatever, whatever you want, whatever look you're going for, whatever way you want to do things. Let me get some of this stuff off of here. Okay, now the eggs. <clears throat> Let's see how this will work out. Uh, we're going to fold it in half. I'm not sure which one. Oh, I said I needed one more too, didn't I? i got to pick out one more. So, what did I do with my paper? I put it in back of me. Okay, let's cut off our sliver. A little sliver. Okay. Okay, there's our sliver. Now, which way? So this has eggs. So this is kind of, I don't know. Let's try it. So it'll look like this this way. And it'll look like, hmm, even though the eggs are upside down and they look upside down, uh, you could get away with this without cutting the paper off, but they're still upside down, so I think I'm going to go with this this way. So let's uh, measure again with the other page. So something like this. So one of these will be in the middle, and when it's in the middle, I'll have the pretty paper coming out. Like, say, if I wanted to put this one in the middle, I have this. I'll have the eggs being in the middle of the paper. So, um, so we are cutting this paper, this pocket down, because I don't like them that tall. You can have them that tall if you want. You know, if you don't want to cut the paper off. You can totally have it that tall. I just like them a little shorter. Okay. 
right, so about right. And this has lines on it, so I'm trying to line up the lines. My paper cutter here. And I'm having a little trouble seeing with the shadows here. I think right there, maybe. And I can line it up. I have. Oh, I shouldn't grab that on the blade, should I? <laughs> Be careful, Sherry. Okay, and then I line it up with the top little stop there and that should be straight okay let's see how we did another strip to use up and so it'll be like this and then we'll cut a little triangle off let's cut a triangle off out okay this is really thick paper by the way Okay, so right now it's like this, but I may turn it depending on where we put it. So this is the inside. I'm not going to decide yet because I need to cut one more paper. So I think I'm just going to reach behind me and whatever I get, I get. I'm not going to be all choosy. So here we go. I got the I got the chicks. So the chicks are going in here for sure. Branding strip needs to be cut off. Let's see how this looks. Keeping my branding strips for a moment. And then uh, I think I kind of would like to, now that I know that I have this one. Okay, so to start off the journal, let's see. We open the journal. This plaid one would actually be really pretty to start off, I think. So in the middle of this signature, I could have this one with the bunnies. So that would be the middle. And then the second signature could be this one. So this could be, I already have it folded like this. So this could be the middle of that signature. And then this could be uh, the beginning. So I'll put the chicks on the outside. And that will begin the second signature. Sound good? I think so. And so on the other side, what do we have? We have the this bun these bunnies. Okay. Now this is a this is gonna be a little bit of a dilemma because these are gonna be upside down too. It's not like the other papers. So uh, this one I'll have to cut off. I'll have to cut. Let's cut our sliver off first. Let's do the sliver. You know we have to do the sliver. At least one little sliver off of these. And so let's get that cut off. And there we go. And then uh, this is going to be the beginning. So I want the pockets. Uh, you know, I wouldn't want, since it's the first page of a signature, it's like my cover page of a signature. I wouldn't want pockets out here, so I definitely want my pockets in here. So it's going to be like this. So I'm just going to make a little pinch right here because I'm going to cut this off. And then, so this is how I do it when I want my I want my pocket, but I want it to be upright. I just go ahead and cut this where I want, you know, the paper that I'm going to use for my pocket. I'll go ahead and cut it off. I'm just trying to see where my pinch is. My pinch is right here. Okay, get everything straight. Uh, yes, that is straight. Okay. So again, outside of my signature, and then this will be the inside, but it's too tall. So I'm going to cut off, uh, since I have this, I'm going to cut right here in between the chicks so I don't cut, you know, have chicks with their heads cut off. <laughs> so let's cut right there in between the chicks. That'll, be, that'll work out well <laughs> for everybody, including the chicks. They will not have their heads cut off. Okay, perfecto. Now we have a little strip of chicks to use somewhere. Okay, so then I have this, which should match the size here. Probably cut off the strip already, the little strip on the end, on the sides. 
Let me just fold it in half on a crease that we have here. Okay, so we'll put that right into our fold. And it should pretty much be perfect. And then I still cut out my little triangle. So I'll pretend like this is attached, fold it down, and see. And here's my little triangle I need to cut right here. Okay. That's how I do it. That's how I do it because I it's confusing if you <laughs> try to just take it off and cut it to me anyway. I have to see where it's actually going and kind of do it like it's attached. Okay, so this will be reattached. I'll probably just sew all the way around here and sew it back on, but you could glue it on. But see how cute that looks? Now, okay, so that'll be the first page of our second, second signature will be, and this will be the middle center section with the pretty Easter eggs. And so I'm gonna work on the cover a little bit and then I'll come back to you with, uh, maybe do some work on the cover uh, on the video, depending on what I'm doing, and uh, also adding page more pages. So stay tuned. I think it's gonna be really pretty and fun and, uh, see what we end up doing with the cover. Who knows what we'll add to that besides what I've already told you. And uh, next video should be working on this. Uh, I do have a video. I don't know if it will already be out when I do this, but um, of my collab with Maria Junk No More. So if that gets in the middle of things, that's on the 14th, so I can't help it if it gets in the middle of things. But anyway, uh, I'm going to try to keep these, this series on this journal together as much as possible. And they're, they're always in my junk journal playlist. If you can't find something that's linked below my videos, you can just click on there and see all my junk journal videos. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Have a great day.